War Diary Day 636 of Russia's war against Ukraine. It's minus two, it's getting colder. Um, if you look at pictures from the, from the south, Kherson, where the Ukrainian army is on the other side of the river now, um, fighting incredibly bravely against terrible odds and, and still s sticking there, good on them. There is a, um, there is back in the capital here in Kyiv, there is a sense of gloom. Uh, Sean Walker of The Guardian has written an accurate piece, I fear, um, about this gloom. And essentially there is a massive difference between the kind of electricity of living inside Kyiv when the Russian army was 12 miles away because this was a city, this was a country that was fighting like tigers to defend itself. And that remains true. But the problem is the West has, has failed our Ukrainian friends because we have not given them enough to achieve victory. And so how many more poor Ukrainian men and women will die or get cruelly maimed trying to fight the Russians. Now, I do not think any kind of peace deal is right or in any sense likely because there are far too many Ukrainians who are from the occupied um, territories, places like Donetsk, Luhansk, and they know what happens there. They know Ukrainian prisoners of war, men get castrated, women can get raped, children are abducted. I know the cruelty of the Russians. So there is no political consensus for any kind of peace deal. And yet the trap uh, the Ukrainians are forced into is they've got to keep on dying because the West aren't helping them enough. It's beyond cruel. We need to raise our game. We need to help our Ukrainian friends. And we need to do that fast. Oh, and Vladimir Putin, do fuck off. <laughs>